everyone! Thanks for tuning into my channel. Summer is around the corner and I've got a great sun hat pattern to share with you today. I've left a link in the description for the written pattern available on my website which includes details for three different sizes. We will do the adult small medium size in this video but the pattern includes details for an adult large as well as a child size. All you need for this project is a 4mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle are always helpful when finishing off a project, and 100 grams or about 180 yards of a weight for yarn. Now I specifically picked out a cotton yarn here because cotton is great for those summer projects because it's a very breathable material. And if you want to know more about the different types of yarn and when you should use them, check out my other video, Types of Yarn. I'll link it below in the description box where I go into much more depth about the types of yarn, what they're made out of, and when to use them. But for today, any other weight for or worsted weight yarn is great and we can get started. We will begin with a slip knot. Insert your hook. And now we will chain five to begin. One, two, three, four, five. And slip stitch into that first chain. And we made a little loop. Now you can also begin with the magic circle if you prefer that method doesn't matter. I prefer the chain and slip stitch method, but both are great. And now we'll start round one with the chain one. And we're going to be doing half double crochet stitches or half treble crochet if you're in the UK. And I'll show you what I mean just so we're clear. We start with a yarn over and we're going to be working into the center of that loop we just made. Pull the yarn through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. So that is the half double crochet stitch in the US and we're gonna go ahead and do nine of those stitches right through the center and I'll show you one more time. It's a yarn over through the center, pull the yarn through, yarn over again, pull through all three. Alright so that was two stitches and we're gonna go ahead and do seven more to make nine in round one. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you have nine stitches, we're going to close the round with a slip stitch into our first stitch, which if it's, it's a little hard to see, but we're going we're gonna to pull this tail a little bit and it's going to kind of tighten up our work a little bit. We can see a little bit better. Okay, so our first stitch is right here. And if you're not sure, you can always go back and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And do your slip stitch to close round one. Now for round two, we begin with a chain one. And now we're going to do two half double crochet stitches in each stitch. So starting in this very stitch right where your chain's coming out of, right there. Do your yarn over, insert the stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three, and again right in that same stitch. So we just did two in that stitch and we're going to go around the whole circle doing two in each stitch making 18 stitches for round two.
All right, I'm at the end of round two. It's always a good idea to go back and count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we had nine in round one, and then we did two in each, so you should have eighteen now. And we will end the row with a slip stitch into that first stitch. That is what we have after round two. Round three, and we'll start with a chain one. And again, we're going to start with two half double crochet into that very first stitch, which is very tight. You can barely see it, but it's right where that chain's coming out of. So go ahead and do two half double crochet stitches in there. And then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then two into the stitch after that. and then one into the stitch after that. So we're going in a two, one, two, one pattern all the way around, which should leave you with 27 stitches at the end of round three. So two stitches in that one, one in the next, two, and one. Once you have 27 stitches, it's always a good idea to go back and count to be sure. We're going to close off round three again with the slip stitch into the first stitch. And round four starts with a chain one and two half double crochets into that very first stitch right where that chain's coming out of. And now we will do one half double crochet into the next stitch. And again, one into the stitch after that. So this round, we're going to have a 2 one, one pattern. So that's like every third stitch gets the double, gets two half double crochets. So we're going to get two into fourth stitch, one to the fifth stitch, one into the sixth stitch, and then go back to two. Now one, and, oops, and one. Okay, so we are essentially making a flat circle in half double crochet. It might not be perfectly flat, but that's okay. But it should be pretty, pretty flat. Um, we're increasing by nine stitches each round. So we had nine. 18, 27, and round four should bring you up to 36 stitches. And again, the pattern is like two half double crochets in one, and then one half double crochet in the next two. All the way around. Here I am at the end of round four. We will close off as usual with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And then we'll start round five with chain one and two half double crochets in that very first stitch. And then we're gonna do one half double crochet now in the next three stitches. One, one, and one. So now this round is going to be that on repeat where you do two in the first, two half double crochet in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next three stitches. And repeat that nine times all the way around. 
until you have, you should have 45 stitches then at the end of round five. So I did two in that one, and now one in the next three. Two. And then one in the next three. Do that all the way around. Okay, this is at the end of round five. You should have 45 stitches and end the round as usual with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Round six, you can probably guess what we're gonna do. We're gonna chain one. And we have a pattern emerging now where we always start with two half double crochets into the first stitch. And now this time we're gonna do one half double crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna repeat that nine times all the way around. So we'll go do two into the next one. And then one into the next four. Two, three, and four. So for each additional round, we're just adding in one half double crochet in between the sets of two. It's a nine stitch increase per round. So at the end of round six, you should have 54 stitches. At the end of round seven, 63. At the end of round eight, 72. Hopefully that's all making sense. I think you guys can totally handle it. It's just the same increase pattern we've been doing up until the end of round eight. So I will meet you there where we do something a little bit different in round nine. This is what you should have at the end of round eight. It is a mostly flat circle, but if it's curling a little bit on the edges, don't worry, that's normal. And you should have 72 stitches in the round. Next rounds nine through 16 are gonna be pretty simple. Just do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So no more increasing. And then just close off each round with a slip stitch and start the next with a chain one, just like we've been doing. So go ahead and crochet through round 16. Each round should have 72 stitches and I'll meet you at round 17. This is what we have at the end of round 16. We have a bowl shape. Once we stopped increasing, that brought the sides of our work up vertical to make this shape. And if you're, the front side of your work is still on the inside, just flip it inside out so that the front side is actually on the outside and that's the way we're gonna do the pattern. And now I'm gonna zoom in and show you how to do some eyelet stitches for the next couple of rounds. Starting row 17, we're gonna start with a chain three this time. One, two, three. And we're gonna be using some double crochet stitches this round or the treble crochet stitch if you're in the UK. And that is a yarn over insert through the second stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through those last two loops on your hook. So it should look like you have one double crochet even though it's just a chain three and then your second double crochet. And now we're gonna chain one. We're gonna skip one stitch and do a double crochet into the two stitches after that. one and then one to the next okay and now chain one skip the next stitch and do a double crochet one into the next two after that skip one chain one and then two double crochet. All right, 
that's what it's looking like. So we're just making these little eyelets by chaining one and skipping one, and that creates a little space. And that will give us some ventilation on our hat. So go all the way around doing this pattern of two double crochets, one in each stitch, and then skip one, chain one. Two double crochets, skip one, chain one, etc., etc., all the way around. At the end of round 17, we should be finishing our round with that chain one, skipping that last stitch, and then slip stitching into the top of this chain three, also known as our first double crochet stitch. So we can count up one, two, three, that third chain right at the top. Do a slip stitch, and see how that pulls it nicely together. And that chain three we started with now really looks like a double crochet and we will start round 18 with a chain one and we're going to do another round of half double crochet and we're going to work into the top of these two stitches here so right where that chain is coming out of do a double I mean a half double crochet half double crochet into the top of this next stitch and then you're going to do a half double crochet right into this chain space. Okay, and now do one half double crochet to the top of those two double crochets from our previous round. And half double crochet in the chain space. Alright, that's what it looks like. So just go all the way around doing half double crochet stitches. You should still have 81 stitches. We end row 18 with a half double crochet into that last chain space and slip stitch into the first stitch we did in the round. All right, and chain three. Rows 19 and 20 are going to be a repeat of rows 17 and 18. So if you need to rewind the video, you can go ahead and do that. And we're going to repeat those last two rows. And then we're going to move on to the brim. Round 21 is where we will start the brim portion of the hat. And we're going to continue with the increase pattern that we were using here at the top of the hat. And we're going to just pick up where we left with that same increase pattern. So we're going to start round 21 with a chain one. I already did my chain one. And two half double crochets into that very first stitch. And now we're going to do one half double crochet into the next seven stitches. Two, three, six, and seven. Okay, and now we're going to repeat that. So do two into the next stitch, one and two, and then you'll do one half double crochet into the next seven again and repeat all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. At the end of round 21, you should now have 81 stitches. And we'll close the round with our slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one to start round 22. And we're going to keep repeating in the progression of our increase. 
So we always start with the two half double crochets to that first stitch. And now we'll do one half double crochet into the next eight stitches. seven, eight. Okay, and now repeat that. So by, we're gonna do two into the next. And then you will do one into the next eight. So we're just increasing the same way we were before by adding in an additional half double crochet in between our increases, our sets of two. And you're going to repeat this pattern all the way out until round 27. And with these increases, it should bring your brim. See how it's coming out a little bit? It's going to, kind of like the top of our hat was expanding this way, now our brim is going to be expanding the same way. Okay, so just go ahead and keep going with this nine stitch increase per round. So at the end of this round, you should have 90 stitches in the round after that 99 and then 108 and so on and so forth until round 27, you should have 144 stitches. This is what your hat should look like when it's all done. Here we were at round 21 where we started our increase rounds for the brim. Go out to round 27, where you should end up with 135 stitches. And then the last round, round 28, just do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And that will kind of bring in and curl up the sides of the brim a little bit to give it some more support and style. And hopefully that all made sense. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. All the round by round details plus different sizes are available in the written pattern at ilj.com. So I'll leave a link in the description for that. And also if you like this tutorial, don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on my newest patterns. Thanks for watching.